Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm going to walk through creating an Alexa skill that streams audio from some online source, so uh, maybe an online radio station or something like that. This is an updated tutorial. This stuff changes really quick, so um, if you're about to watch this tutorial, look at the description first. And if you see something like this in the description, this video is outdated with a link to an updated version. Stop watching and follow that link. Um, trying to keep this stuff as current as possible. I don't want you watching outdated videos or tutorials. So let's um, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to use a, a template. There's uh, been some changes to how the Ask CLI works. I'll leave links in the uh, description if you don't know how to use the Ask CLI or if you haven't used it yet, I've got some tutorials on that as well. So you just go ask new and then dash dash URL and this will let you get a, um, a template that is not part of the Ask CLI from some remote source. And I've got some at um, HTTPS colon slash slash dabble lab slash templates.json. So https dabalab.com slash templates.json. And if you run that, you'll see a list that you can scroll down with your arrow keys and you can find this one, uh, not video app, um, audio stream starter. So select audio stream starter and it will um, ask you for a name. I'm gonna just leave the, uh, the default there, audio stream starter Alexa. And then um, it just gives you a warning that you're pulling from a remote source, but that's okay, yes. And then it will pull all the code that you need from GitHub, which is where this is hosted, and you'll end up with the uh, skill project folder here. And I'm gonna go open in terminal. And then at this point, really all you need to do is just go ask deploy. And assuming that you've got the Ask CLI set up and all of your credentials configured, it will deploy the skill to your Alexa developer account and also to Amazon Web Services, the back end of the skill. And so I'm gonna just deploy it real quick so you can see what it's doing and then I'll walk through the code so that you can uh, modify it and make it, uh, make it your own. So this is gonna take just a minute to um, deploy. While that's happening, I'm gonna pop back over here and um, two things are gonna happen. Uh, so one, in uh, you need two accounts to do this stuff. If you haven't um, done this before, you need an Amazon Web Services account and an Amazon Developer account. So you can go to aws.amazon.com to get a Web Services account and when you log in, you're gonna to wanna to go to uh, Lambda just to see this. Um, so if I go to my functions here and last modified, whoops, got too many functions to navigate through. Okay, um, so this is the function that was just created nine seconds ago. And this is gonna be the, the back end to our skill. Um, and this is the, it's got too much code in it to edit online here, which is why I'm doing it from the CLI. This isn't something that you could edit through the, the browser, but you can see that it's here. And then if you go over to, this is probably done deploying. Yes, it is. And if you go over to developer.amazon.com and then log in and then go to, uh, let's see, once you're logged in, then you just want to go to your Alexa consoles and select your skills and that'll pull up a list of your skills and you will see in that list this here, the audio stream starter. And at this point it's ready to go so I can say Alexa open audio stream starter. Starting stream one. And there we go. Alexa, stop. Okay, so now let me show you what's going on in the code. So here in the uh, the Lambda code, if you go into the index file, and this is pretty much where everything is. So if you're modifying this uh, so that you can create your own skill and publish it, or just learn how this stuff is working, you'll find most everything that you're looking for in this index.js file. 
you can up here you can modify the uh, the screen the the stream so i'm pulling this from this radiomi radio nami uh, dot com site and y this is you would change this out to be the url to the stream that you want to pull and then this here this uh is just the um if you're if someone if somebody's playing this or opens this skill on a device with a screen so like an amazon echo show this is uh an icon that'll pop up for it and then this image down here is a, a background image so if you're watching this or listening to it i guess on a an echo show or uh, an echo spot or something like that these are the images for that and then uh the title stream one so you heard when i started it it said now playing stream one it's getting that from this here and then a, a subtitle and these will show up on the screen as well and um, sometimes if you're if you're developing and it's not pulling up the most current updates change this token here and just like increment it to like stream 13 14 15 or whatever you want but if you vary this then uh, it won't cache so you'll see the most recent version and sometimes when you're developing that is uh, is helpful to know and then the only other thing that you might want to uh, modify is um, ta -ta -ta, where is it um, Yeah, this here. So when the uh, when the stream starts, it says starting, and then it's pulling the the title from that metadata up here from the streams data right there. And you could change that maybe to something else like welcome to uh, whatever your your stream name is. But that's it. It's pretty straightforward. You um, can certainly dig into the code and uh, get familiar with how it's all working. It it covers most of the um, well, all of the required uh, built-in intents that are required for an audio streaming skill. And at this point, if you wanted to publish it, you would also want to go over here to the skill.json file, and you would want to update the, uh, the summary. So you would want to provide your own um, skill information, and then also uh, these icons here, the, uh, you would want to change the, the URL to some images that were the right images for your skill and uh, update the example phrases. And um, what else would you want to do here? The Yeah, the terms uh, of service URL and the privacy URL, of course, you would want to change those. And with that, you could just do, once you've made the changes, ask deploy again just like I did and that would deploy your your updates and at that point you are ready to uh, to submit it for um, the certification process and you would do that you can actually do that from the command line but um, let me show you how to do it from here you would go to certification and this assumes that everything else is complete and then uh, run through the tests and uh, like the functional test here, you would go run. And this might take a second, but once this, once you run through this, then you'll be ready for submission and you can just click submit here and submit. And then generally a day or two, maybe, uh, it will, um, you'll get a, a, hopefully a, a confirmation back that it's submitted and live in the um, skill store. And that is it. That is creating an Alexa audio streaming skill from uh, a template. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please like the video and subscribe to the Dapple Lab channel. There's um, over uh, 140 uh, tutorial videos now on building Alexa skills. You can get to those by going to youtube.com slash Dabble Lab. Again, youtube.com slash Dabble Lab. Thanks so much.